You guys see this ocean? Well, a few days ago, me and some friends set off on an adventure to try and explore the depths of this place. But then, out of nowhere, a storm hit, and our boat sank. Luckily, I was able to get away on a lifeboat, but then I was a man out on his own, lost at sea. So after looking around, I was surrounded by nothing but hostile ships, ruled by the strongest people of the ocean. And with no idea what lurked in the depths below, I had no option but to row and row for days on end, trying to find anything. And that's when I came across this, a small island out in the middle of nowhere. And that's where this adventure picks up. So sit back, relax, and get ready to watch me attempting to survive 100 days lost at sea. So yeah, there I was, on this island out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nothing but the dark ocean and the creatures that live beneath it. I had to try and survive here. Alright, there's a bit of fish out there, so I'm gonna try and grab- oh, okay, there's a shark. Alright, let's just get it quick, and let's get back on the island. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm just gonna grab some wood. There's not much on this island, so this is gonna be- it's definitely gonna be hard. Alright, yeah, it's already happened. Sharks have started showing up. This is exactly what I didn't want. So without much other option, with my wood and fish, I made a pickaxe and started destroying the very island that kept me away from these sharks. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, I don't, there's water coming from it, but what is inside? <gasps> oh, a palm wood sword. No sharpness, but I, I guess I'll take it. Golden apple and some food, nice. Okay, there was a chest down here and it was quite helpful because it gave me this sword. Yes, I know it's only a wooden sword, but at the moment I've got nothing better to work with. So I took my sword and started scanning the ocean. At first I couldn't see anything but sharks, until I spotted some sea lanterns lighting up the floor of the ocean. So I decided to dip my toes in the water to see if I could make out what it was. Alright, there's no sharks, there's- okay. I have no idea what that is. But that shark is a little bit too close and those drowns are coming for me, alright. I couldn't see what was down there. And with what seemed to be everything taken from this island, I decided to jump back in my boat and try and find something else out in this world. Oh! What is that? There's something out there. Alright, I'm going over there. There was a raft drifting through the ocean, and with no idea what was on board, I approached carefully with an open mind. What is this? I see a spawner on there. Can I stand on the boat? There we go. Oh! What are you? Okay. What, are you holding a paddle? I don't even know what this is, but I'm going to kill it anyway. Come on. How much health have you got? There we go. Okay. Alright, let's break the spawner. That's the main thing. Alright, fish. That's actually pretty good. I need food. Some food and a fishing rod. You're probably thinking that that's quite bad, but no. Fishing is one of the only ways in this world that I'm currently able to get food from. So I was much happier than you probably think with this loot. But as the rain continued, the sun behind the clouds began to fall and darkness took over the ocean. So it was time to fashion myself a bed out of the sail from this boat and head to sleep. In the morning, the rain had finally come to a stop. And now it was time to head back out on the boat to try and find some more loot. So once again, I was out rowing. But not for too long, because after a few minutes, I came across this. Aha, another boat. All right, what is... This looks a lot bigger than the other one. Hopefully this has got some cooler stuff. This boat was big, much bigger than that raft I found yesterday. So I was excited to check this one out to see what was on board. All right, I still see a load of sharks, but... Okay, nothing in that barrel. Please, okay, nothing in that barrel. It's a massive sail, nothing in the... Is there anything on this boat? That sail's a lot of wool. All right, let's check out. There's a lot of water, this place is... Slightly flooded. Is there any chests? Oh, okay, there's the hole. Does this just go straight out? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. All right, and the sharks are here. All right, let's get back in. Anything else? There's a barrel back here. There's some string as well. I guess that's just the cobwebs. What's in the barrel? Chainmail helmet. Nice. What's back here? <gasps> Melons. Okay. Well, I may as well grab that. That's more food. Oh, I don't even know what that is, but okay. More melon. All right. Scuba boots. Okay, those are good. Those will let me swim really fast. What have we got in here? Suspicious stew at Neptunium. The basement of the ship was flooded, 
but it did have some loot and allowed me to grab some basic resources. So I gathered what I could, and now with my new scuba boots, I got back in my boat and headed towards those lanterns I could see a few days ago at the bottom of the ocean, because I wanted to check it out. But on the way there, things took a quick turn. Alright, there it is. That That is my starting island. This is the... Oh, there's a boss. <gasps> Holy moly, that is huge. Wow. That, that, no. I can't take that on yet. So yeah, even though this ship is half submerged by water, I chose to set up camp here for a little while. That huge ship is something I eventually want to conquer and take down the leader of. So this little boat will do a great job of providing me a safe space to prepare for that attack. And well, yeah, it gives me a little bit of a job to do in the meantime of fixing this place up as well. Because if I don't, then yeah, this boat won't be above the surface for much longer. All right, we need to put some wood here. How do we get... I, need, I want to keep it like a, a, the same shape. So I think if I put wood there and wood there, and then I just have to patch up these bits, I think. These these are all source blocks. Is that into the ocean? No. All right, let's do this. There we go. All right, let's just clear about what we've done. Get rid of the cobwebs. Clean this place up a little bit. I need this area. This is <laughs> valuable space. So after spending the entire day cleaning this place up and making some torches to stop mobs from spawning, it was time to start preparing myself to take down the ship I saw in the distance. Which of course meant it was time to go mining, so I made myself some pickaxes and then dove to the bottom of the ocean. Under the sea! Here we go. Right, I am running out of oxygen and is a drowned. Alright, you need to stay away from me. I am gonna drown here. If, come on, just go down, go down. Whoa, I'm dying so quick. Eat the golden apple. Eat the golden apple. Eat the golden apple. Oh. Okay, that was way too quick. Why was I drowning that quick? Oh, my. All right, get back on board. All right, I've got a door. The door should let me breathe. There we go. Perfect. Just what I needed. All right, there's still sharks up there. But I don't think they can get me down here, so that's fine. Oh, my God. That is huge! Is he eating the shark? Okay, there's a skeleton here, and is this a mine shaft? I'm pretty sure that yes, we are in a mine shaft. What? This is not what I thought was gonna be here. Oh, nice. Okay, first bit of iron. That's what we've been looking for. Been digging for a little bit now. This is uh, what I needed. How many pieces have we got here? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces? Not bad. Yay. Okay, more. Here we go. Right. What's one, two, three, four, four again? Five. Okay, five pieces. Five more pieces. I'll add it to the collection. Oh, no. Six and seven. Hi, it's me again. I just want to say as we're mining, please subscribe to the channel. My last video got 250,000 views as of the time of me recording this. And my channel doesn't even have 250,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this video and realize that you're not subscribed and you're enjoying the content, just go down below and subscribe. That's it. Let's get back to the video. Seven days. That mining trick took me seven days. Honestly, the water in the caves made it so much harder to gather resources than usual. But nonetheless, I came back up with over a stack of iron and now was able to start cooking this stuff up to make some armor. And whilst I waited for it all to cook up, it was time to go fishing because I had this fishing rod and I had some time to kill. So there was no harm in fishing, right? So after fishing, I made my armor and headed out on my boat again because it was finally time to check out that underwater structure that I've been putting off for a little bit too long now. Okay. It was this way. I see it. There it is. There's the light. That is the one. It's so hard to see with the reflection of the sun, but it's fine. Okay. Wait, no, that's not it. What is that? I don't know what that is. <gasps> oh my god, that... Is it gonna kill me? Is it... I'm going. Screw this. I'm out. Oh, he's coming at me. He's right there. Oh! <gasps> oh no, I'm out. Get me off this boat. Yeah, no, that's not happening. That whale was literally circling me, causing my boat to shake. So instead of just basically agreeing to let a whale eat me, I spent the rest of today on my boat looking out for a clear channel for me to leave through. But as night fell, that opportunity didn't arise. And I could see that structure glowing through the depths of the water. So the next morning, I got in my boat with a clear ocean around me and headed right towards it. That ship is there again, and it is huge. I am not ready for that. Oh, there's the boss bar again. All right, let's go. Here we go. Let's go down. What even is this? Is there an entrance somewhere? No? Okay, yeah, no, there's one here. Let's, uh, let's try this out. Is there anything inside? 
There's no air bubble. There's no air in there. I can't go down here. I'm gonna need those doors again. I, I, there's no. I need some air. I can't breathe forever. This place was completely submerged with water, and I can only hold my breath for 10 seconds in this game. So for this place, I needed doors. Now you're probably wondering, why do you need a door? Well, doors allow you to breathe underwater when placed. But of course, they are made out of wood, and currently, I don't have much of that useful item, because, well, there's no trees around here. So I needed wood, and lots of it. And I wasn't prepared to start disassembling my own boat again, so I decided to go on a hunt for some more boats out in the open. Anything new that I would be able to tear down and reuse somewhere else. And that's when I came across these. There we go. More boats. These are small though, but there's two of them, so... Let's not get, put my hopes down, I guess. There could be some loot on here. There was two small sailboats out here, completely unmanned. Perfect for me to completely strip of their resources and head back home with. This included wood, wool, and a beautiful view. But that view was about to get much better, because on my way home, I found this. A huge new ship led by a new captain. This place was my new target. I knew that if I wanted to get the best loot in this ocean, it will most likely be in the storage section of this ship. So now I had a new task on my hands, the underwater structure was on hold. Because for this boat to take down all the men on board, I will need arrows, and lots of them. So for those, I decided to head underground. If I could find some skeletons, or maybe even a chicken down here, I could get a few arrows. Now, obviously, I got distracted when I was down here, so I ended up doing some mining, and I actually even found some diamonds. But eventually, I came across the absolute jackpot for what I needed. A skeleton spawner. This thing is just infinite arrows, which is exactly what I needed in a situation like this. So I probably spent a little bit too long down here just killing and killing and killing skeletons over and over again, until finally all of my weapons had broken and I had no option but to leave this place with what I had and return to the surface on the night of day 23. Okay, the boat is here. Ah, oh. so in the morning of day 24, I headed towards that boat. It was time to check this place out. Here we go. Is that a shark? No. What is that? Is that a villager? No. He's got a bomb in his hand, I think. What even is it? Can I hear it? Okay, I can. That, it clearly isn't Cap- Oh, he's dead. Alright. I was gonna say, that's not Captain Roger. Alright, ugh. Oh, I was just about to go up the ladder and then this guy shows up. What is this? Oh! Oh, he's brought my boat as well. Where's my boat? Give me that. Give me that back. Okay. What is this guy? He's straight up throwing bombs at me. Hey, you want to calm down a little bit, sir? There we go. Finally. All right, he dropped... What, is this diamond? No, this is iron armor, I think. Okay. I think the ladders are clear, at least. Let's try and get up. All those bombs are still going off down there. What do we have up here? Any more? Let's be ready. Oh, yep, yeah, there's another one. All right. Hey! Oh, okay. This is going to be hard. I need to rethink this strategy a little bit. This is gonna be harder than I assumed. These guys threw bombs at me, and it seemed the sharks had caught onto what was happening as well because they started showing up. So with me having absolutely no idea what else was up there, and with a failed mission at hand, I headed back home in defeat and spent the rest of today stuck on a boat. Because Kevin showed back up. Yeah, I gave the whale a name. If I'm gonna be bullied by something, I need to give it a name. So, with Kevin circling my area, once again I had to wait until the coast was clear so that I could make an escape from my boat because it was time to do a quick hunting mission and try and find some sugarcane on a lost island somewhere. I wanted an enchantment table, so I went out into the rain on my boat and went searching for some sugarcane. Okay, it's literally- OH! I was just about to say there's no islands out here and I come across a boat. That was the perfect timing, this is huge! I don't see any guys on board here, apart from villagers, but I am going to be careful because I do not want to get bombs thrown at me. There's no sharks underwater, so I think I'm in the clear. All right, villager, I know you look peaceful, but I never know. You could throw a bomb at me in a second. I need to be careful here. All right, what's... Aha, here we go. Here's the people that we're, we're, we're not wanting. The zombies. You can go. And there's a creeper back there. This place is... Why have all these basements got cobwebs? I don't know. Right, let's just keep... Come on. Creeper. There we go. Anything else? No. No more. Alright, let's check this place out. Okay. Oh! Alright, pirate speed pistol, a gun, nice, a villager hat, and flippers! Nice! Okay, a golden fishing rod, an iron katana, and a stret... Okay, a heavy bow, I'll take that, that's good. Hey dude, don't mind me, I'm just here stealing your stuff. 
Oh! Oh, this is rich. Okay. Carrots, give me those. Potatoes, yes, please. Bolts for the crossbow, absolutely. And a spear? This is... Okay, this was a great find. This place was so rich. That rich that I couldn't even gather all of the loot at once and was preparing to make a second trip here after heading home. But lurking in the deep beneath this boat was an animal that any minute now was ready to strike. You can stay away from here. I've had enough of hostile creatures today. There we go. Nice. All right. I need to, what's he, what did he drop? I don't even know what that is. Okay. Oh, he's back. Here we go. All right. Can I get back up? What's he? <gasps> oh! Oh my! What was that? Dude! Okay, get me up. Get me away from this thing. He is trying to kill me. No doubt about that anymore. Hell no. No. What? Alright, I can't see him. I'm making a run for it. Get me on board. Get me to bed. No way I'll attack him. No? Alright, let's go on. Let's... Oh! Hey, hey, hey. Okay, get off of my boat. I'm going to need to light this place up a little bit more then. Clearly. This is sick. Look at this rowing boat. How cool is this? This is way better than the other boat. It's huge. More fish and a, a fillet knife. All right, that's pretty cool. I'll take all of that. That's probably going to help me live at least. This place had been cleared out of all of its loot, but it still had a very valuable thing on board for me to work with. And that is, of course, villagers. So I decided to trap these guys in a boat. You can call me cruel all you want in the comments down below, but I'm going to give these guys jobs, so actually I'm the good guy in this situation, right? Yeah, all right, I need some wood. I need to try and find some more trees or something somewhere, please. Okay, this is... It's got wood by the looks of it and some, some leaves as well. I guess I'll be able to try and get some saplings. That would be nice. I'm so glad I made this boat. It's so cool. Oh, he's in my boat. Oh, wait, can you get in as well? Can we get two in the boat? Oh, got two of them in there. Great. Okay, and, oh, okay, there's the first sapling, nice. Th we were already basically set then. We only needed one, really. But if I can get some more, that would all, oh, okay, there, there you go, two. This is perfect. Oh, that guy's got a scuba helmet on. Whoa, I wanna kill him. Can I try and get that? All right, let's take a quick pause. This scuba gear that these drowns were wearing, that lets you breathe underwater which is something I definitely need when it comes to exploring those underwater structures, because as mentioned earlier, I can only hold my breath for 10 seconds, and they are completely submerged, so there is no air down there whatsoever. So I needed to try and kill this guy and get that suit from him really badly. Okay, where did he... there he is. All right, he's coming for me. Come on, please drop it, please drop it, please drop it. Oh, he did! Yes! Okay, all right. Oh, this guy's in full gear! Are you going to drop every single piece? I hope so. Come on. Drop every single one. I need the leggings, the chest plate. I've already got the boots back home. <gasps> Did he drop anything? Nothing. Oh. Oh. Okay, there's another helmet over there. So I guess I can try and get those. Maybe I just got really lucky on that first kill. Maybe they're not as common to drop. No, they're not. They can't be. I just got super lucky. All right, I'll take it. This is... The that was great. Okay. So should I be able to breathe down here now? Yes. Now we can explore shipwrecks or anything underwater with, without worrying about breathing. There are so many sunken ships all over this ocean floor. Like, I only just thought about this, but how many ships lie at the bottom of real oceans? There's got to be like at least, I, I don't know, a lot. But anyway, I moved on past the ocean monuments and sharks of the ocean and continue to make my way home because I got the sapling I needed and it was now time to plant this guy down. Okay, we got one piece of dirt. We can place it right here, and there we go, and get the sapling on it. We are starting our own life. I kind of want to build a raft, because I don't want these just chilling on my boat. I'd rather chop these on, like, a raft next to it, so I think I'm going to build a raft. Sometimes a guy like me wants to build a raft. I have a whole ocean to work with, and I decided to grow trees on my boat for some reason. So I wanted to start working on a raft, and for some reason I wanted to make it out of campfires to make it look cool. But, oh no, that was literally the worst idea possible. I used pretty much all of my coal on these things, so at some point I'm probably going to have to go mining again. But either way, I built for a few days and eventually this thing was done. And I actually don't think it turned out too bad. Now I have a tree raft that I can just plant trees on and then farm them over there instead of on my boat. 
So then I just farmed trees for a few days, chopping away and replanting on my little raft, until day 35, because that was when I finally decided it was time to take on the structure at the bottom of the ocean. I had gathered enough pieces of scuba gear to be able to breathe underwater, so I felt somewhat confident taking on this place. So I geared up, got in my boat and headed over. Here we go. Okay, I can breathe down here, so there's no problem now. There is two mini bosses. I don't know if these are inside of this place or they're on that boat that was just over there. But hopefully they're not in here. It's pretty clear. Nope, no it's not. Okay, these guys are going to give me a little bit of trouble. But that's fine. If we just break the spawner, then there won't be any more of them. Come on. Okay, there's one down. There we go. Both of them. Okay, what's in here? Iron nuggets and prismarine shards. Eh. That's not too great. What about this one over here? Uh, eh, okay. Chainmail helmet and some emeralds, but still nothing great. Break this spawner before any more spawn, and we have more emeralds. Uh, there's nothing. Nothing great. Nothing of value here. Please, diamonds, 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 diamonds. No. Iron nuggets. More, loads of chainmail armor, though. What's all this about? You guys need to give me some space. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of you. Down. Okay. And, uh, still all down here. Okay, what's... Oh! Oh! Oh, you guys are so much stronger. Yep, yeah, no. You are doing a lot of damage. I am out. See you later. Get me out of here. Can I hit you? Yes. Okay. How many of you are in there, though? You guys... I've been hitting these guys for so long, and they're taking a beating. They're not even dying. What's going on? I spent too long trying to kill these guys. I had no idea that the spawner was still in there. So I was just wasting my time trying to take them out since they just kept coming back. But I did get quite a few levels of XP from this, so it wasn't all that bad. Oh yeah, and on the way home, I was able to loot a sunken ship again, which was pretty cool. But if I was to say I learned one thing from that place, well, it's that my armor isn't that good. These guys did so much damage, and I really didn't stand a chance in regular combat. And if the same people that are down there rule the ships above ground, well, honestly, I've got no option but to upgrade my armor, because iron armor isn't going to cut it anymore. So guess what I did? Yeah, I went mining again, for diamonds. Obviously, what else is better than iron armor? Well, yeah, that's diamond armor. So I went down and grabbed as many diamonds as I could. So, as I'm mining, I just want to say a quick thank you to MC Pro Hosting for sponsoring this video. You guys know they sponsor me. They sponsored so many of my movies. You guys can get 20% off any server plan on Java Edition, Pocket Edition, so many other games by using the link down below and checking out their server plans and just getting 20% off by using code SWORD4000 at checkout. These guys are the best. They've helped me out so much. And I've seen some crazy, crazy worlds that you guys have made with their servers as well. So, go check them out. Link in the description. Thank you, MC Pro Hosting, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the 100 days. I ended up getting 32 diamonds, so I came back up, made the armor I needed, and hopped in my boat. It was time to take on Captain Roger's ship, and attempt to steal the goods that lay in the belly of it, because now I had the armor to do so. Here we go. Where is he? He was here a minute ago. Not a minute ago. It was a while ago, but here we go. He's gone. He's not even here anymore. All right, what's in here? Aha, they're all chilling in here. Oh, yep, yeah, nope, they aren't playing games. Did he just kill him? He just killed his own friend. Well, they're going to kill me if I just stand at that door. Oh, okay. This is rich. Come on, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Did they all kill each other? Okay, well, they did. So I guess I can just grab ender pearl, diamonds, iron, gold, and bones. Perfect. All right, this guy has a gun. Let's, um, didn't even hit that shot. Come on. Ow. Come on, man. What is go- Oh! All right. No, these guys, honestly. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna die. I need to go down. Why are they so OP? Oh, there's mobs everywhere. There's mobs everywhere. All right, can I get this guy from range? That's Captain Roger. Look how much damage I'm doing to him. And he's down. Let's go. All right, what did he have? He had a totem of undying. Yes, please. Give me that. All right. This so these the bombs are so loud as well. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. These bombs are so loud. And they're killing each other, which is helpful. Now I'm on fire. All right. No, 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 no. Too strong. Too strong. This ship was strong. And after being thrown off by an explosive blast, I decided to take what I had home, 
collect my thoughts, and then head back in the morning. Because on that boat was an enchanting table, and that's something I really want. Okay, it was here. I think it was in this room. As long as we don't get bombed on the way there. Close the door. Yes. The bookshelves. A few books in the chest. Nice. I guess we can just make some more books if we want. Nothing in the chest. But the enchantment table is here. So let's grab that. First thing first. Get what we need. Finally, this ship was wiped out. So I jumped back in my boat and headed home. Crucially, I got the one thing that I needed from this place. The enchantment table. And now was able to head home with what I had and start setting up my own enchanting area. Right, it's going down here. If I can clear a little bit of space, it's perfectly even. Oh, okay, there's a lot of stuff in there. So we should be able to put it here. Don't mind the water for now. It can flow in here. But once we get the bookshelves down, get the enchantment table in the middle, and then more bookshelves here. There we go. Look at that. This place is really coming along. I'm really glad I chose to put this boat. Now, can we get a level 30 enchant? No. Level 24. So if I put these three down, can I get it now? Yes. Level 30. All right. Okay, let's enchant the stuff. We've got 52 levels. How do I have that many? Uh, protection 3. Yes, give me that. Uh, protection 4. All right, we got protection on everything. Protection 3 on the chest plate, but protection 4 on everything else. That is a win. But I need more XP. I'm going to go and get those villagers. I'm going to give those villagers jobs. As everyone now knows, villagers are one of the best ways to gather a load of XP. So I needed to make sure these villagers were breeding so that I could just profit from them. And for that, I had to set up a farm and do lots and lots of waiting around for these guys to finally breed. I even made a sugarcane farm on a raft in my spare time just because I was waiting for that long. And I knew that I'd be able to trade it all at some point anyway. But on day 51, this little villager population was starting to grow strong down here. And I was able to start trading for emeralds and refreshing jobs for long enough until I finally had the main thing that I was looking for from these villagers. Mending books. So after trading for the books I needed, I added this stuff to my armor and now I shouldn't have to replace this armor ever again because it will automatically repair. Alright, so day 56. This day was a day of nothing. I literally couldn't do anything. Not because I chopped my arms off or anything, but you guys seen I've come across a few ocean monuments on this adventure. Well, I wanted to go and take one down. That's one of my goals for this 100 days. Take this thing down and turn it into a home. But Kevin was back. And I couldn't go out into the water because, well, he'd just munch me up. So I stood on the boat waiting around for him to swim off again for a little while. And I definitely didn't try and kill him or anything. But eventually he swam away and left me alone. But then a few of his shark friends decided to show up around here as well and start giving me trouble. So I took care of those too. This guy is so far away. Okay, I hit him. Perfect. And he's not coming for me. Maybe I'm out of his range. I don't know. I'm going to take these guys down though because they've been on my... And then with a stormy but clear ocean the next day, I set off on my rowing boat to try and find some more things to explore. Since I decided to not risk going into an ocean monument until I knew Kevin was gone for good. I've been rowing for so long. I'm losing my mind. What is going on? <gasps> Yes. This is small, but it could be rich. Okay, well, oh, what are you? This guy's holding TNT. Why are you just holding it? Hey, right, hey. Okay, break the spawner. Oh, okay. Right, well, the spawner's gone. Oh, oh, right, let's just get rid of it. Don't you blow up, don't you blow up. No, okay, right. Don't blow up, just die. Okay, there we go. Alright, you wanna do the same? Okay. Oh, there's another ship. Okay. Anything up top? There's a chest. What do we have? Illager Silver Bar? Never even heard of that. I don't even know what that is. Alright, let's check this second boat out. This I saw this in the distance. Is there a, a ladder anywhere? No. Okay, let's just get into this place. That's the main thing. Let's just get rid of Oh! Oh, there's- oh, he shot himself. He shot himself. All right, let's- There's uh, a few spawners in here, which is gonna, definitely going to be a trouble to take down. I'm surrounded. I away! You're in my boat. Okay, make a run for it. Make a run. I can't get in. Okay, go for the spawner. Go for the spawner. No, nope. too busy. Too busy. Get in the room. Get in the room. Okay. Oh, this is rich. Okay. Oh, they can open the door. They can open the door. Get me out. 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 Go up the ladder. Up the ladder. Oh, there's a chest. No! Oh, no, 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 no. This guy's got a bazooka. Oh, I can't. They're everywhere. I thought I'd maybe have to get in. No. Oh, ah! 
No, 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 no. Oh, this is strong. Okay, that's the captain. Let's take this guy out. He's got the bazooka. That's why he has a bazooka. He's the captain of the ship. He should drop some good stuff then, I assume. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Look at all that stuff. Was that another totem of undying somewhere as well? It's iron, emeralds, gold. No totem, though. Ah. That would have been... That would have been nice. Okay, another one down. Here we go. Oh, okay. There's quite a few of them in here. Hey, just let me get the spawner, please. No, they won't let me. I can't do it. I can't go anywhere. The, oh, there's another guy with the bazooka. This isn't even the captain anymore. Please, guys, let me do it. No. Right. Are they out of the room now? Can I make a run for the spawner? There's no. Okay, quick, 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 quick. No. Come on. Yes. Get me out, get me out, get <gasps> Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Alright, one totem down. Come on. Oh, there's another side. There is a com oh, there's more spawners. Oh, this is so hard. Okay. You take you down from distance. It's one side. All the spawners are in one side. Not this side, though, so I can grab all of the iron and diamonds and illegit. I don't know what this silver bar is, but I'm going to take it. There's another chest up here. Buckets. Yeah, it's free. I'll take it. Oh, okay. This would have been helpful like five minutes ago. But that's fine. I'll take it now. Ah, oh, right. Is there anything else here? I don't see anything apart from a beautiful sunset. Wow. Nice. This ship was small and compact. But honestly, 10 times harder to take down than any other ship I had taken down yet. But either way, I was victorious in taking this place over, and now had a lot of riches to take home and help me on the remaining days of this challenge. Okay, you need to get out of my boat. I don't know why these guys just love going in my boat for some reason. Look how much stuff I got. Diamonds, golden apples as well. This is great. After a long battle like that, you guys know what happens? You run out of arrows pretty quickly. I shot an insane amount of arrows at those attacks, so I had to take a trip down to the bottom of the ocean to gather some gravel for Flynn, so that I could restock up on my arrows. Now, looking back after, I don't know why I didn't just go and trade for thousands of free arrows from the villagers, but we'll ignore that and I'll just continue to take you through my preparation to take on the ocean monument. As mentioned earlier in this challenge, doors are so helpful when it comes to exploring the depths of the ocean, because they let you breathe underwater. So before I took this place on, I wanted to just take a bunch of doors so that I could just breathe everywhere. But as I was farming trees and just chopping away, some sharks showed up and almost completely stopped me in my tracks of going further in this challenge. There are sharks everywhere. Look at him. He's just lurking around here. They're waiting to attack. He wants me. He's just turned around. He's coming for me, that guy. There's another one right here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Can we get him in the sword? No. Hey, he's doing damage. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! How are you still hitting me? No! Golden apple, golden apple! Why have I just got into the water when I'm being attacked by sharks? Oh! No! Right, I need to get back on the boat. I need to- No! <gasps> get me on, get me on, get me on. Okay. <sighs> These guys aren't playing- These guys aren't playing games. They- They want me dead. 100%. He's down. Where's his friend? There was one more. This was probably my closest call with death, but I didn't let that stop me. And after almost dying to a shark, I got right back in the water and set off with everything I needed to try and take on an ocean monument. Okay, there it is. That's not a monument. <laughs> Never mind. This. Hit. Oh. Oh. This is one. I found one. Okay, I was just about to say this is a lovely sunset. Wait, that's my ship. I didn't realize it was this close. I may as well sleep here for the night then. Just clear the night. There's no point in staying up. Okay, let's give this... Are you kidding me? Is that Kevin? I think that's Kevin. Yeah, this guy decided to leave me alone at my boathouse and just decided to go and relax at the place that I would be going to explore next. And I'm super lucky that I left my boat, because if not, I probably would have died here. So when I saw an opening in the ocean, I took a deep dive and headed in. Right, I'm going for it. He's he's given, he's over there. He's not going to get me as soon as I'm in. If I can just get in quick. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And we're in. Okay, we're safe. Where are the Elder Guardians? Oh, there's a shark. 
Isn't this where the Elder Guardian usually is? What's going on here? Right, you can go down. Where's your friend? Oh, your friend's gone. All right. Why have I not got mining fatigue yet, though? What's going on here? I can't find the Elder Guardians anywhere. I've been in here. I've been looking around everywhere. They should. There should be one in this room, but there isn't. I. I think the sharks have gone on a on a frenzy spree, or maybe Kevin. Maybe Kevin's came in here and eaten everyone up. I don't know what's happening. Have you seen the Elder Guardians? No. Do you want to give me some? Oh, oh, a sponge room. Okay. <laughs> Screw the Elder Guardians, I'm here for the sponges. Yes. Why can't I place the door down? There we go. Give me these sponges. These sponges are super helpful. I need these. I don't, I don't, not only do I need these, I want these. These are helpful. I spent so long looking through this place and I couldn't find the Elder Guardians anywhere. I'm not sure if Kevin came over here and enjoyed a snack before I arrived, but they just weren't here. So I decided that this was the perfect opportunity to start working on that goal I mentioned earlier. Drying this place out and turning it into my home. Now you're probably thinking I'm insane, but I did it. I completely cleared this place out of all of its water. It probably took way too long, but once the water was out, it was time to start working on digging this place out too, so I had an open area. I already regret doing this. This is gonna take so long. Ah, It was done. This place was dry and open. Now I had a plain monument to work with and do whatever I wanted inside of. But before I agreed to submerge myself down here for life and convert this into a house, I had one huge task left to do. On day three, was it? I, I think it was on day three. I found this place. Remember that? It had two bosses on board, and I can only assume hundreds of guards and a load of loot with it too. But I think now over the last 80 days, I've built up a strong enough arsenal to take this ship on and try to take it over. So after building for a little bit too long, I traveled home and enjoyed the sunset for what could be possibly the last time. Because on day 81, that would be the day of the boat attack. Here we go. Two bosses and one attacker. I don't even, oh, this is gonna be so hard. I don't see anyone though. Right, where are you guys? Right, there's a spawner there. Oh, there's one. Okay, that's the captain. Right, let's just get rid of the spawner. Get it gone. There we go. Okay, now where is the captain? He's not coming for me. There's a lot of fish. Prismarine chest plate. I didn't even know that existed. Anybody in here? Okay, yep, there you are. This. Oh! Oh, he's having trouble. He's up. Oh, he's spam clicking the door. This is the captain. Get him down. Come on. Come on. Drop a totem. Drop a totem, please. Come on. How is he not dead? Come on! Yes! Okay. And he dropped a lot of stuff. Perfect. But now he's got a friend who's got a gun. Right, let's just take him and down if we can. There we go. Whew. Oh, there's so many of them. He's got the bazooka. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Get me away from him. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, is this... Okay, this is the captain. Yes. Albrecht. I don't even know how to say that. I'm just trying to kill him. That's the main thing here. Come on. If it wasn't raining, he'd actually just burn. Ow! Stop throwing bombs at me, man. Come on, right, he's nearly dead. I want to finish him off with the sword. Here we go. Let's go in for the kill. Let's do it. Boom! Oh! And another totem of undying. Yes, this was so good. All right. Is this it? Is this mine now? Is this everyone gone? I think this ship is mine completely. I did it. The ship was mine at last. When I saw this thing on day three, I never thought this would happen. But now that my one final task was complete, it was time to start a new life. I had conquered all of the ships that I knew of in this area. And now I had an ocean monument to work with and turn into my home. But as you can imagine, over the last 80 days, I have gathered a lot of loot. And I only had one rowing boat at a time to transport it all from my boat to the ocean monument. So I had to start the long and tedious task of traveling back and forth and back and forth with all of my loot from my house until it was finally all moved out of my old boat. Okay, this should be the last one. I, I, this is everything. It's not should be. This is everything. I've got everything here now. Now with this old boat in the past, it was time to start on my new life deep down in the monument. So I got to work. I wanted this place to be self-reliant, meaning I needed farms, trees, and of course to bring a few villagers down here. Okay, let's get these beds in so we can start breeding them. All right. Oh, no. I forgot I had bad omen. Okay, where are they even going to spawn? I need to make sure the villagers... Oh, they've spawned right here. Okay. Let's just keep the villagers safe and take these guys down. 
this should be easy. There's only one place for them to spawn. Okay, another wave. Oh, wait, the witches. It's not what I need. Hey, Vindicator, you want to give me some space? Come on. There we go. Whew. Another one bites the dust. Now it's just a few witches, I believe. Yep, may as well get rid of those. I'm poisoned, but they're down. Here we go. All right. But the vexes. Get me away from them. Oh, there's a Ravenger here. Hey, man. You do not belong in the ocean. What are you doing here? It's two more. Evoker over there. Let's just get rid of him. That'll be another totem of undying. Vexes, leave me alone. Okay, right. Bring on the next wave. Oh, th there isn't a next wave. These Vexes can go now. Get away from me. All right, yeah, that raid wasn't planned at all. But I took it down anyway and was successful in doing so. So we can just ignore that happened and moved on with our lives. I continued to design this place, adding more trees, and I couldn't forget adding my enchantment table. Then this place was complete with everything I needed for now. So with two days remaining in this challenge, I set off into the open ocean for one last time to try and find anything else. I searched day and night over and over again, rowing through this ocean. Until on day 100, after finding nothing for two days, I spotted an island. Over the past 100 days, I had made this ocean mine. And although I wasn't able to escape and get to land, I think I did a good enough job of sustaining my own form of life and taking on the challenges I was faced with. But for now, that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this journey and hope to see you on the next one. Peace.